Colon cancer is a serious illness that can be hard to detect early. It's often called a silent killer because it may not show any signs until the tumor has become large enough to cause problems. In the US, more than 100,000 new cases of colon cancer are reported each year. Sadly, it's the third most common cancer for both men and women, causing nearly 50,000 deaths annually. This cancer starts when cells in the large intestine grow abnormally and out of control. Although we can't predict who will get colon cancer, there are some early signs that you should never ignore. Some signs may be hard to notice, while others are more obvious. Before we start, please note that the information mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health experts. With that being said, let's jump in and talk about the seven early signs of colon cancer that you should never ignore. Number one, changes in bowels habits. Most people who get colon cancer are around 60 years old, but some younger people can also get it. Bowel habits are often the first sign of colon cancer. Normally, your bowels move regularly, about once or twice a day. Your stool should be soft, brown, and easy to pass. There should be no blood. If you see any changes in how often you go to the bathroom or if your stool becomes hard and difficult to pass, it could be a sign of a problem. It's important to pay attention to these changes and seek medical advice if needed. Number two, diarrhea. Diarrhea is frequent loose bowel movements, often seen in individuals with colon cancer. Diarrhea means having three or more watery stools in a day. It's a common sign, but can also occur due to other issues like irritable bowel syndrome, lactose intolerance, or inflammatory bowel disease. Sometimes bacteria or parasites infecting the colon can lead to diarrhea, as stated by the National Cancer Institute. Number three, constipation. We all know our colon is responsible to get rid of waste from our body. It also takes in water and nutrients from food. But sometimes the gut gets blocked up and can't work properly. That's when you get constipated, which can be uncomfortable and awkward. At first, constipation might not seem like a big deal, but it could be a warning sign of colon cancer. A study found that over 80% of people with colon cancer had constipation before they knew they had cancer. There are lots of things that can cause constipation like side effects of certain medication or lack of physical activity. It's not always easy to know if it's just regular constipation or something more serious like cancer. If you're having constipation for more than three days, talk to your doctor, especially if you also have bloody stools or tummy pain. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next symptom, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number four, blood in your stool. Colon cancer is one of the cancers we can treat best if we find it early. Most people, 95 out of 100 with colon cancer, survive for at least five years after diagnosis. But sadly, one out of every 20 Americans will get colon cancer at some point in their life. If we detect it early, the chances of surviving are much higher. Seeing blood in your stool could be an early sign of colon cancer. The colon is where your body stores stool before eliminating it from the body. There are many reasons why your stool might have blood. Like other types of cancer or health problems such as ulcerative colitis, diverticulitis, or hemorrhoids. Usually when your large intestine gets inflamed or injured, it can cause blood in your stool. Sometimes bleeding from other parts of your digestive system, like the stomach, can also make your stool bloody. Certain medicines like antibiotics, anti-diarrheal drugs, or iron supplements might also make your stool bloody. Number five, bleeding from the rectum. Bleeding from the rectum might be a sign of colon cancer, which is the last part of your large intestine. It's about five inches long and where waste leaves your body. However, bleeding from the rectum is very common and most people having this problem do not have colon cancer. Other things like swollen veins, hemorrhoids, or anal fissures can also cause bleeding from rectum. Sometimes, a growth like a polyp on your colon surface can cause bleeding too. Number six, feeling constantly tired. Symptoms of colon cancer often start slowly and may not show clear warnings. Feeling tired is common and can happen for many reasons, like staying up late or not sleeping well. But if you feel tired more than usual and it doesn't get better even after a good sleep, it might mean something's wrong with your body. The colon remove waste from your body through stool. If it gets blocked or slows down, toxins can build up. Over time, this can lead to cancer in the colon. Feeling tired a lot and having other symptoms like bloating or belly pain could be early signs of colon cancer. And number seven, sudden weight loss. 
Symptoms of colon cancer change based on where the tumor is and how advanced it is. Losing weight quickly could be a sign of colon cancer or other stomach problems. But sometimes it happens for different reasons. If you're older and got better after being a serious illness, it's okay to lose some weight. But losing more than 10 or 15 pounds in a few months could be a sign of colon cancer, whether you're young or old. The best way to avoid the disease is to eat healthy, stay active, and keep a normal weight. This helps keep your colon healthy. Let's discuss about food that should start eating if you have colon cancer. High fiber intake from whole grains, nut seeds, and legumes like peas, lentils, chickpeas, and dry beans. Try to build up to eating 30 grams each day. Brown rice and rice bran have been studied and shown to reduce polyp formation and inflammation. Consume plenty of unprocessed fruits and vegetables. Try to eat at least five servings a day. Reduce red meat consumption to no more than 18 ounces per week. Avoid alcohol, as it's shown to increase cancer risk. Limit sugary drinks. Skip the processed meats. Research has proven that these mentioned foods may aid in your efforts to prevent colon cancer. Foods are proven to reduce chronic inflammation in the body, which lowers cancer risk. If you experience any of the symptoms mentioned earlier, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. It's important to note that these symptoms could indicate early stages of colon cancer, though they're not guaranteed signs. Found this video helpful? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for being on the channel.